New reaction tonight in Northern Virginia as the Inspector General launches now an investigation into the FBI headquarters site selection process. Fox 5's Tisha Lewis joining us live tonight from Springfield with the very latest. Tisha. Some residents here in Springfield believe that politics may have been at play and they are not alone. Some lawmakers in the Commonwealth feel the same way. The IG and General Services Administration announcing today that they are, in fact, launching an investigation into the selection process right here in Springfield, where we are tonight. One of the contenders for the new location, ultimately Maryland, was the choice. You then have as well the director of the FBI in an unprecedented way basically contact every FBI employee, not just a headquarters, but across the whole country, and said, in effect, this process stinks. So if the IG didn't launch this investigation, um, I would have been you know, enormously upset. The investigation will take place. That was Senator Mark Warner, and he, along with several lawmakers, saying there's overwhelming evidence, saying the GSA administered the site selection process, quote, fouled by politics. They're calling this an appropriate next step. The Commonwealth and Maryland competed for the new FBI headquarters, and it's expected to bring in up to 1,000 jobs and the economic boost that comes along with that. I don't really mind where mm -hmm. they went to be. Virginia or Maryland doesn't make no difference for me. But I don't Do you think the process was fair, the selection process? I didn't hear the whole thing about it, but there is a lot of political you know, issues with it. A statement emailed to Fox 5 from Team Maryland, which includes County Executive Angela Alsterbrooks and Governor Wes Moore, says in part, let us be perfectly clear, the new FBI headquarters project is moving forward. The GSA selected Greenbelt for the new consolidated FBI headquarters based on the fact that it is the best site. Any objective evaluation will find that the GSA arrived at this decision after a thorough and transparent process. Several questions reportedly surround a GSA senior executive the executive reportedly worked for the company that owns the land in Greenbelt, Maryland.